Well, here we go, everybody. Here we go. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally here. And ironically, the video is called The Year. So I was about to say, after about a year of doing these, I think it's about been close to about a year. Um, we finally hit the end. We've hit the end of the Ricky Gervais Show videos. Uh, just a heads up, I will have a link on Twitter, my Twitter, at Devon underscore Da Vinci. And I will have a poll with uh, different shows up that I will have uh, you guys vote on. And whichever one wins after about a week's time, then I will do a reaction to that show. Now, again, the rules are the video or the show has to be less than 30 minutes. And well, really, that's it. Hopefully, it's something interesting. Uh, don't recommend something that would be boring for me to watch. <laughs> because after a couple episodes, I might just stop. But... With that being said, I look forward to seeing what you guys recommend. Um, j just leave it in the comments if you want to go ahead and recommend anything in particular. Uh, it'll be a lot easier for me to, to look. Matter of fact, hold on, let, let's do something different. We're going to create a hashtag. So leave your show recommendation and a hashtag. I will collect all the comments in the comment section and I will put it on the poll. Whichever one wins in a week's time will be the one I do a reaction to. The hashtag will be Da Vinci Watch. So Da Vinci Watch. Just put them together. And leave that in your comment and I will put your recommendation in there. But I can only do four. So the four most highly the four most requested comments are gonna be the ones that make it onto the uh, the poll. I don't know why Twitter won't let you do more than that, but I'm not trying to do some type of NCAA bracket and this is probably the fastest way to do it. But let's jump into this. This is Ricky Gervais, Season 3, Episode 13, The Year. If you want to go back and see all my reactions, I have a playlist, which I will be... It'll probably be taken down for a second and put back up because i got to reorganize everything. And this video was uploaded by Lisa Erline. This is who I've been getting my high-definition reactions from for a while now. They were recommended on Twitter by uh, username Robin. Robin, thank you again for showing me this uh, channel. You help in this uh, series with a bang as opposed to a pixel. And with that being said, let's jump into this and see what it has to offer. This is a sad moment. Sad moment. Oh. <laughs> For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. Okay. This is okay. one of them. Testing. Is that all right? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon. One more time, that guys, is for Carl. Carl Pilkington. Uh -huh. All right. Dirt. Kind of weird you hear, isn't it? Go on. No, I'm just saying, you know, when you look at it like that over the year... Yeah. Just a lot of stuff has gone on. That's... What's stuck out for you? If you were doing your own review of the year, what would you put on the front cover? Uh, the, the grub. That was, that was eating biscuits on the windowsill. <laughs> OK. <laughs> right. Just because, you know, it's... Uh, I never thought I'd see that this year. So it was just I, I was there on the computer. Yeah. I was having a cup of tea and a biscuit. I uh, put the biscuit on the windowsill. I sort of picked it up. Why would you do that? What, why? Why would you put a biscuit on a windowsill? Window because I'm sat next to the windowsill. It's like something from a cartoon. No plate, I put though. The pie on the windowsill to cool down. Yeah. No, and so, some ruffian stole it. Yeah. So I was eating that and uh, I was enjoying it. Put the rest of it back down, for, like the next half of the cup of tea, and. Uh, <laughs> I saw Planned like, out. This is, yeah. I bet, well, we read about this later in the diary. So, and then I saw just like a little crumb moving. I was like, what's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> so I looked down closer, and there's an insect that is see through, but with legs. And um, just sort of running off with a crumb into like a little hole. And then when I looked, I noticed there was loads of these little see through things. And they were obviously all like, oh, we got biscuit. Yeah. 
Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they were saying. Let's <laughs> <laughs> over here. But I can't, that, what, Come what, what, on, what was it, like I say, it was amazing because it was they're miles away from what I'm about, and yet not that far. They're, but, but they still like a bit of biscuit, and it was just weird. Mm. That that happened, and that's, what, <laughs> that's what's nice, isn't it? That's what's nice about the nat- you know, the nature of the world. You know, we can invent iPods, we can bring out better vacuum cleaners, um, but at the end of the day, you can't make nature up and see this see-through thing. You do eating a biscuit. Kind of, yeah. Uh, that's that's mine. where I've sort of gone this year. I'd say out of uh, anything, I've sort of gone out of my way to to learn more stuff about weird stuff. That's but I don't know what you've learned. You've learned that uh, a creature which you can't even identify. That or you name, don't know, right? It, 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 you don't know what it is, right? Um, look like it nicked a bit of crumb. I don't know what knowledge is that. What Why does that, nicked a bit of crumb sound useful? like? Just because everything is, of is changing. Sexual thing. It's not thing. useful. It's not useful <laughs> to you, and it's not useful to anyone. You can't pass on that as knowledge because we don't know what it was. But Carl or where thinks, it happened but, or why it happened. But Rick, Carl thinks that that the grub has an inkling, has, has a taste for McVitie's in the same way that Carl does. That's why yeah. he's from Mexico. He's thinking, as, I can't believe it. They, we, we both love hobnobs. No, as opposed to just room. being yeah. it, it, taking the it starch and the flour. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But what I I'm saying is, is that these things have been around for years. Yes. Maybe longer than us. Yes. Right? Now, their life isn't changing in the way that ours have. They still live in a little crack in the wall. Yeah. But they're eating biscuit. (laughs) And that was never meant to happen. The the squirrels in the park, because people are feeding them Mars bars and everything. They're getting fatter, they're getting bigger, they're getting more violent. Getting more violent. All the time. <laughs> you know, they, they're going to cause more trouble. Than <laughs> what else have you got what do you think? More the liquid Just squirrels. Like sat in the park and, and what have you, they, they really like cocky. They come up to you now and sort of jump up on the bench and sort of attack you for food. They're not happy with acorns now, they want a bit of croissant. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm saying, they've changed. They're changing over time. Just like that grub, having a biscuit. Everything's trying different food out. He'll want a gato <laughs> soon. Everything's getting more intelligent. The goldfish memories got better. Chickens are more intelligent than people thought they were, apparently. Everything's time. Time makes you more intelligent. Well, I'm well, not going to explain that's, it. That's Carl can't hear if, me. If you're There's no point. Knocking around longer, then you're learning more because more stuff's going on and you soak it up. And that's what these insects are doing. They're all. Learning. You know what I mean? No. I saw a cockroach playing Pac Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was on the internet, right? And somebody had, had linked up a cockroach to uh, <laughs> some. I can't even bother explaining it, but, but, uh, but that's what I'm saying. Everything, everything's moving on. I love how you just like jumped to that. Yeah, Pac Man's like such an old hat game, man. It's like from the 1980s. Yeah, that's a cockroach. Oh my god. Get with life, it. man. Hello, PlayStation 3. Is yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> Yesterday's cockroach. Oh. You know. All I'm saying is, I do watch a lot of insects and stuff, and you never see them wasting time. They're always doing something, and ants carrying something somewhere. Sometimes I watch it, and it goes somewhere and comes back again. You think, does it know what it's doing? But at least it's trying. <laughs> what you? Now, if there was a. What big... is it doing though? What is that ant doing? Work. It's doing. It's building a house. But or what? What's the point? It's everything it does is pointless. How can you say that? It's pointless. I'll tell you what, if if there was a bigger sort of being looking over the world and they went, right, let's look at the human race. And, well, they'd look at the ants first and they'd go, right, they've got their hands full. They're carrying big stuff. They try to save time by carrying stuff that's way too big for them, really. (laughs) They could do that between three of them. But they don't. They're all grafting hard. Then they go, right, hit the human button. They hit the human button, they watch the humans. The amount of people who are just sat about doing now, Lily Allen in London at 2 a.m. So what? <laughs> what are we doing? I agree with you, but what, what are, are you doing? doing? You see, the ant analogy, joking aside, I think there you hit on the fact that life is about working for what you get. And I'm right behind that. I am right behind that. Mm. I think that's I, I, I think that's absolutely true. That's what I meant. What's dangerous is... A boiling cap- kettle to an ant. At the end of the day, right... Yeah, but that's that's evil, isn't it? What? You know, I, I don't. I, I, I mean, you, you sometimes make out as if I'm an evil man. We had an ant problem. Mm. <laughs> Show them dictatorial tendencies, Carl. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, it's a bit out of order. They are outside. 
And she yeah. said, yeah, but there's, there's getting a lot of them. Mm. She went and popped the kettle on. Mm. I said, I can't handle this. I went in, right? <laughs> what? You didn't want to see the hand thrown? That's sweet. You know, they're there. Yeah, they might be causing a problem, but I don't want to see this, this mess. Now, the thing is, she went out. She poured the hot water on it. I left it a few minutes. I went out, I had a cup of tea, I thought, it's a waste of electrical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I took my cup of tea out there, and I'm sat there, and then I just saw one come back from wherever it had been. One ant. He looked devastated. <laughs> because that, that had been away. As far as that was concerned, it had been out to get a leaf or whatever. Came back, <laughs> devastation. You're the protagonist of an RPG. Like, well, that, that's, that's the thing, he summed up death for me, that. The, the ants that are dead, they didn't know anything. Suddenly they were there, next minute, load of water, dead. It's the people who are still living in life that are the saddest, aren't they, after death? Yeah, so Zan is the final boss up. that he what has to overcome. What do you think? That ant would have been better off being there when it happened. How could you tell the ant was... What do you think? So you saw it, I mean, they run around in circles anyway, don't they? But this was just kind of going, what's going on? And what did, it, did it slow down when it got nearer the nest? Did it drop the leaf and then you see it run the last few inches? It, it just kind of got close and it was like it, a double take almost. It just grabbed <laughs> onto its knees. Almost like it, it got near the hole and then it was like, hang on a minute, this can't be it because no one's around. And then it walked on and it went, no, it is the hole. And it went back and it, it just sort of stopped for a minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that, that for me, that's the sort of thoughts. Things that you can look at as a human uh, yeah. and appreciate it and understand it yeah. and go, yeah, that's true, that is like life. Instead of, oh, am I awake? Am I asleep or what? No. But you might as well be asleep because you're doing nothing else. <laughs> 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 I was in the supermarket recently, um, just uh, just walking past the condoms, yeah. and uh, you never know what you're going to have Watermelon flavour. Were they watermelon flavour? Just uh, just walking past the condoms, yeah. and uh, you never know when you're going to run out of balloons. <laughs> and um, and uh, and I was weird because the, the, the condoms in the supermarket are contained in a kind of cage, in a plastic cage. So it makes it all the more embarrassing buying them. So I think it's a security thing. Um, I know in America they usually put the like condoms inside of like a a glass display with like a lock on it that you have to like call somebody over to get them. I'm not sure why they do that because they're not like super expensive. So uh, maybe people are just taking them and blowing balloons with them and shit. Who knows? They're like, using too much condoms. We gotta lock them away. So it makes it all the more embarrassing buying them. So I'm trying to open this thing, and, and this guy who works there, sort of with this middle-aged guy who works there, goes, you, yeah, you, have to, um, you have to take that to the uh, checkout. So you can't open that yourself. And uh, so I just left it. I thought, forget it. I'm not going to take this to the counter. Because it's like if you get served by a, by a woman, it's, it's still a bit embarrassing, particularly if that's all you're buying. Because <laughs> she knows what you're up to. Um, you're going to fill them up with war and throw them at students. And, um, but it, anyway, the reason I mention this is because it reminded me of the conversation we've, we've all enjoyed in the past, Rick, about when Carl bought for his girlfriend for Christmas. Uh, was it a... Uh, so you pack. A two pack of yeah, what was it? Condoms. <laughs> Wasn't it about buy one get one free? Yeah. So that was a couple of years ago, Carl. The famous uh, condom gate. <laughs> Have you bucked your ideas up since then? I just think that as time goes on, you don't sort of buy each other as many presents. As oh, so do. sorry. That was a bumper year, was it? That was that was a hell of a. She went. Oh, I remember. When, I remember when you used to buy me stuff like condoms. It's gone downhill since then. Oh no, your she, presents. No, she was getting them. What I mean is, there's less. Of course, prizes. she didn't. That's what. That's what I mean. Though it was sort of interesting to, to when I gave them. So there you go. Open them. She was not expecting that. And as time goes on, no, she was probably expecting a piece of jewellery. Or that comes from the school of Ryan Johnson level of subverting expectations. <laughs> she definitely wasn't expecting it, so he can't be mad at Carl for that. She was not expecting that. <laughs> And as time goes on... No, she was probably expecting a piece of jewellery or a holiday in Paris. <laughs> it's more difficult, is what I mean, to surprise someone, in it, over, no, but over no, no, time. No, 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 mm. But the surprise thing is meant to always be a good surprise. Yeah, but don't... If, if, you're, if you always get something good... It's like the three wise men. What did they get the second year? For, for little baby Jesus. Do you know what I mean? Once he's had that gold, it's like... Oh, I've, I've, I've sort of made it hard work for myself there. I've got to get, I've got to get him something better than that now. 
So it's best to give him the myrrh. The next year, get him the gold. It's like how you, you know, how, like people make a big thing out of, you know, having it away for the first time. And they go, oh, I'm going to do that tonight. Not the way to do anything. You won't get anything done by planning. <laughs> That's a quote. Okay. <laughs> That's an quote. That'll be up there with the Newton and Churchill. You don't get anything done by planning. <laughs> and as an appropriate statue. Oh, he's only gonna write it down for a whole fucking year. <laughs> that, of course, signifies another reading from Carl's diary. Let's make the most of it. Let's enjoy uh, some of the wisdom. I oh, also think it's the it. last time ever he will make uh, an entry in this diary because um, you're not going to keep another one, are you? Um, I don't know yet. I might just get a smaller one. But I found that since keeping a diary, I've gone out of my way to do more stuff. Well, you say that, but... Well, let's, let's find out. Let's find out if that's true. No, I have. I read a bit in the news about people being injured while trying to cut open avocados. It's a food that ain't oh. worth injuring yourself for. If it's a hassle to get into, leave it to the experts. I have never bought one. I have also avoided coconuts and pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of hassle to get into these things outweighs the joys they give. Yeah. It's the same reason I never bought a pair of Dr. Martin boots. Too much hassle when it's time to take them off. Yeah, a lot of my mates used to wear them in like the 80s. You know, the, you can't just kick them off, can you? To dig up evil. <laughs> oh, you've, you've got to un unlace them. You All the, yeah, I mean, I, I, since I found shoes with Velcro on them, brilliant. Why don't you get it sponsored? Because you could wear a Velcro toupee. Because <laughs> oh. that would be great if we could do that. If someone could invent a little hairpiece for Carl, Velcro's the little bit of fluff he's got on the top of his head, his shiny orange-like head. Pop a little Velcro toupee on. I would love that. I would love to get him wearing a wig. <laughs> Watched a programme about the twins this morning. It was filmed 16 years ago. They are mental. They did everything together, including the backing up. Phone calls had to happen twice so they could both have the same chat, and they said the same stuff at the same time. Well weird. The bloke who I watched it with, I don't know who that is, just some homeless guys that you just invited into the flat. just someone I've been sort of working with. Sure, a mate of yours. He said he fantasised about having it away with a pair of twins. I don't see the point in this. If you're going to have two of something, I would prefer to have two different. Have two different women. If I had two cars, I wouldn't have the same one twice. Same rule with women. <laughs> I don't even normally like buying the same pair of trainers twice in a row. No, if you're going to have something new, make it make a change. It's like that fella who was going out with a woman and then left her and went out with a twin sister. Not worth it. <laughs> Not worth it! It's not worth the upheaval, is it? Because it's exactly the same model. My theory about reading old news is right. It's less bad when you know it's old. There was a story about a weatherman who was fired yesterday for having a nude picture of himself on the internet. But that happened two days ago. He's probably got another job by now. So old news isn't as shocking. Well, old news isn't news, though, is it? It's olds. It's history. <laughs> well, anyway, just reading the olds. No, but what, what I mean is if, if someone... Take if the it, video on of uh, last week's news. I just want to catch up on the olds. Yeah, but, but then it's still news. If you, News is something that you don't know, isn't it? If someone tells well, that's you That's everything to you. That's information, Carl, not news. Yeah. But, but news is information. No, and the, what, key, the key with news is the word new. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think it is. It's, 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 it just, it's just information, but they tell you at 10 o'clock at night. It's like, what information's gone on? Bong. Here's some information. Yeah, that you didn't know before, because you couldn't have, because it only happened today. Bong. Yeah, but never mind that. I'll tell you in a couple of days. It doesn't matter as long as you get the same info. Bong. Yeah, we can't call it news, though, because it's misleading. We'd get down. It's called old. Bong. <laughs> but listen to me theory. What I'm saying is, is that if someone in your family... You know, I don't want to bring the tone down, but someone dies in your family. Mm. Now, say if you're away on holiday, and they don't call you because they don't want to ruin your holiday, mm. and you come home, and they go, Uncle Frank's dead, and you go, oh, when did that happen? And they go, two weeks ago. Now, because everyone else has got over it, it's not as bad for you. Because part of bad news is the way everyone's walking around moping, going, oh, have you heard the news? Frank's dead. But because everyone's got over it, time is a healer. That's what that's what I mean about old news. It's but better you, than new but, news. But, yeah. Oh, but Lord, according to you, the, the only news that really news. matters is stuff that affects you. So it doesn't matter when you uh, 
There was an earthquake, when was it? Yesterday. Phew, that's alright then. Often the <laughs> aftermath is worse than the actual event. Two, you only care about things that actually happen to you. So the doctor goes, you got a kidney stone. Oh, when did this happen? Uh, two weeks ago. Oh, that's alright then. Doesn't make sense. No, but the world uh, but you're is... Not, you're not upset about dead Uncle Frank just because other people are upset. You'd be upset personally. Wouldn't make any difference when you when they told you. Yeah, but it, it is everyone else's emotions that, that make it worse, I think. Knocking around people who are miserable. <laughs> what about warnings? What about when they do things... You picture Carl going up to the uh, pulpit at a church or something like that during a funeral and be like, Oh my God, would you people just lighten the hell up? <laughs> they all started to depress me. He's already gone. He's had his time. I'm still here. Be happy for me. Looking <laughs> around people who are miserable. What about warnings? What about when they do things like smog warnings or, you know, there may be a... I don't uh, like it on the news when they sort of say, news just in. I think, oh, what's this? You think, oh, what's going on? But it might be useful it might to be know important it. important information. No, it just makes you panic. What? <laughs> yeah, but, but sometimes knowing stuff keeps you alive. Yeah, I, I don't know if I like it. It's, it. Sirens, you say, I don't like sirens, do I? I said to you, I think it's a, a scary noise. Well, it's meant to be, so you get out of the way. No, no, it's not meant to be. It's it's a sign to get out of the way. I'd prefer it if it... Like I said... Fire! Can you just move out of the way for us? It can be anything, as long as we know. It can be a chicken noise. But as long as you know oh, that's chicken noise... Like. <laughs> no, but it sort of makes you smile. But you'd, you'd go, oh, let's get what, out You're of the way. cycling along and you hear what sounds like a giant chicken behind you. <laughs> and you smile because you know that even though someone is burning to death, <laughs> there's something clucking in my way. <laughs> That's probably a guy having a heart attack. <laughs> Going to my mum and dad's today. Oh. Got there, <laughs> mum and dad, mum made him some dinner. The old woman next door, brackets, whose man was a witch, just popped that in brackets. <laughs> just popped that in brackets. I think we've discussed that before, actually, the old woman whose man was a witch. <laughs> whose man was a witch? Yeah. Oh. The old woman next door has been worrying because she keeps seeing adverts on the telly about changing to digital TV. She's saying she doesn't want wires drilled into her walls because they'll make a mess. My dad told her that it doesn't matter because it will probably won't happen until 2012 and she'll be dead by then. It Damn! Though, no, he did. They've got, you know, she, she's old. It doesn't. She Damn! Knows she's gonna I mean, it's something we've all got in common. And he's right, isn't he? Why is she worrying about it? Maybe that's sorted it out, put it into perspective for her. You will know be where dead Carl when gets this happens. It. Don't be worrying about it. Went to bed around midnight. You know where Carl gets it from. Suzanne and I decided to sleep tops and tails because it made we get a bit more room. My dad had cut a bit off the mattress to fit it between two cupboards. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes just sawing off a bit of the mattress. You sort of roll to the edge, but the weight of the blankets keeps you in. This is like something from a Roll Dahl book. No, it's just, it's just, uh, you know, you think anything, you can sort of trim anything, can't you? And it normally works. But with a mattress, I mean, he, he only took off, I don't know what how long that is, but he's sawn off about that much on the mattress and then has stapled it back together again. Amazing. And it just makes so much difference. Of course it does, because a mattress is a very carefully designed object. Yeah, you wouldn't think so, though, would you? Well, you, you would if you had a fucking brain in you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> so we decide to sleep tops and tails. It just gets stranger. It's so strange. Why? He did it to make the room nicer with the, with the cupboards on either side. So he sawed a mattress in half. <laughs> well, not in half. Can you imagine how much hard it must be to saw a mattress in half? What did he use? What, a big electric saw? Uh, well, it must have been, yeah, because there's a lot of springs and stuff in there. Jesus. So what happens to the springs? They just spring out the side. Well, some, some sort of stick out a little bit, but you're not lying on top, are you? They come out the side. So it's just got a bit of gaffer tape and a staple gun. Unbelievable. <laughs> Man alive. It's like... Does he run it as a hotel? <laughs> That's unbelievable. There are squats with better bedding arrangements. The mad woman next door saw me and said, Hello, Clive. You live in a nursery rhyme. The old man down the road. The old woman next door whose mum's a witch. Uncle Arthur who lives in a dinky. <laughs> this is like, not a real place. It's like, it's not a Just all of a bit on this broken mattress trying to find the golden ticket. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so, uh, what's the big thing of this year? What's the big thing so far? And you'll go, oh yeah, that was the year that. Uh, 
I haven't really been following what's going on because of other other like personal. Well, yeah. Issues. What's the big? Okay, what's the it's big? My thing? boiler. My boiler's playing up still. I'm sick of it. You what? My boiler. Your boiler. The boiler that eats the water up and stuff. But it doesn't. You know what I do in that situation? I'd instantly get a repairman out. To sort Done it out. that. Done that twice. It was eighty quid for him just to say, "Yeah, it looks like you need a new one." Why don't you get a new one then? Call out. Because you, then you wonder, are you meant to believe him or is he out to sort of... Well, he's the expert. Him? Yeah, but is he? It's well, like you're meant to get a second opinion, aren't you? Like, so that was the first time then. So what was the second time? Who came out the second time? Same fella. And what did he say? Well, what I thought you were going to get a second opinion. Yeah, and also... I the company and, and they just sent him again because it... Well, call think, a different what company. Was the, what was, it, no, what no. was his second opinion? <laughs> he quit. <laughs> I undercharged you, it's 150. No, because they so they must look in the book and sort of go, oh, you know, Harry, Harry went round there or whatever. And uh, and they must think, well, he went there last time, so he knows the situation. Yeah. And got the same fella again. Well, so he well and up. got the same opinion, same, I assume. Same answer, yeah. So yeah. so what's his advice? Um, he just said, you know, there, there are people out there who will touch it if you pay the right money. Well, OK, so you're going to get an expert in who does this thing and sorts it out, so... Well, no, I, I called up on. my dad. Oh yeah, oh so, yeah. He always knows he's someone who's going to sort sort stuff out. And he said, uh, "Oh, one Just of your cousins is a, is a boiler man." And uh, yeah, they're they're coming round, but I've never met them. And it turns out that that person, because like the whole family, you know, I, I'm not into sort of keeping in touch with people. Sure. I haven't spoke to my brother for like I don't know, twelve years, and <laughs> sister about fifteen years, and that. So. The idea of this cousin, who have, I, I, I mean, I, he might as well not have said he's my cousin, because I'm not going to know him anyway. I mean, it might have, that last fella, Harry, might as well be related. <laughs> so, so they're going to turn up, and now it turns out that because they haven't seen the rest of the family, they're going to, like, use this as a reunion. Oh. What, so they're all going to come round whilst... They're all coming round. Whilst he fixes the boiler? Yeah. And I hate it. I hate, I hate family things anyway. So they're going to come round and just look at you? Well, yeah, apart from the one who's fixing it, he'll be fixing it and the others will just be sat around sort of going, so, how have you been? And it's like, well, where do you start? I haven't, I haven't seen... I, I mean, seriously, I mean, they are strangers. When they buzz, I, I could be letting anyone in. <laughs> they buzz the door. And so, so you're going to entertain them all in your, in your flat? Well, I, I said to my dad that I might just say that I've got to go to a meeting, let them in and then shoot off. And all it's going to do is dig up problems, isn't it? If my cousin was Einstein, very nice. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's going to add extra pressure. If your cousin was Einstein, then you really are an underachiever. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? If he was, I'd know about it. I don't reckon you would know about it. I, reckon I don't I reckon your family would be that impressed with Einstein. They would have just stayed in touch. He was they? always the weird one with the scruffy hair and his tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> I remember our early ambition was to actually be educational as well as hopefully entertaining and, and I feel perhaps at times we've perhaps slightly shortchanged listeners in terms of what they're learning. Well, they're not learning anything because also, um, even as, uh, you know, compared to Carl, we, we are educated, mm. but we're guessing a lot of the stuff and he flummoxes us, you know, sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it was fun trying to be pompous and professorial enough just to, just to fight Carl's ignorance. I think we've learned more new words from Carl than we've learned anything else. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. been a lot of the made-up words, perhaps more than ever before. Mm. And also so some of the most abstract. Um, Create a new segment for this last episode called Carl's Dictionary. Just all the words that he made up and ask him what the definitions are. I'm sure that exists somewhere. Maybe not in this show, but... At some point, somebody asked Carl about all the words he made up and their definitions. I guarantee it. More than ever before. Mm. And also so some of the most abstract um, conversations I think we've ever had. I mean, Carl's, as he gets older, becomes more and more he, arrogant um, and confident. He said a new one to me the other day. Um, there was a problem downloading, and uh, he said um, they've added to the fuckerage. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. Yeah. No, uh, I reckon uh, the stuff we know. That's kind of like a word I hear a lot. It's called fuckery. Fuckery is the word that I like to use in those type of situations. Which is good. Yeah. No, uh, I reckon uh, the stuff we know is enough now. And all we tend to do mm. is uh, find problems. All the mystery is still in the world. The mind-body problem. What to bring? Mm. Mm. How to save the world. Yeah, but we're not, are we? How to save the world. We know it's dying. We know how to fix it. Not yet, we don't. Turn your lights off. But then we didn't. You turn yours off. <laughs> <laughs>
just get sick of it. <laughs> Leaflets through the door all the time. Turn your eating off. Turn the lights off. Living like a mole. <laughs> <laughs> I love his little internal dialogues out loud. They're fantastic. The little discussions he has with himself. Oh, I can't wait till he's old. That's going to be amazing, us three. We're about 75, 80 years. He's fucking moaning. Oh, we're in a weird little home together. I just suck. <laughs> Fuck you now! Oh, Carl! Do you remember when you were 73? No, do I fuck? Tell us the TikTok I'm doing. What a fucking useless bunch of cunts! I don't know if Ricky just took a shot at everybody, but if it was just Carl or every single person that exists, but. Whatever. Knowing Ricky, based on what he's done recently and everything, it probably was attack on everybody. Ricky can be a savage when he needs to be. But, um, yeah, for a second it didn't feel, I was about to say, it didn't feel like it was a finale until that very last segment. Which is kind of a nice way to send it off. Um, now, so I'm looking forward to see what the next show is. If you guys have the recommendations, like I said, go to the comment section. Type in hashtag DaVinci Watches. Or Da Vinci Watch, not Watch, it's just Da Vinci Watch. And I will be looking through to see what the four most requested ones are. I'll leave them on a poll. And then you guys go over to my Twitter page, which is at Devon underscore Da Vinci. And leave a, a vote. Sadly, you can't look at the vote results until you've already cast a vote. So if you do want to see what the results are, Pick the option that you really want because, like I said, there's no, like, reveal results or anything like that, which I wish they would add to Twitter, but they haven't yet. Now, with that being said, this has been the Ricky Gervais Show. I want to thank everybody for joining me for this ride again. Um, I want to thank everybody that recommended this show to begin with. I wish I had started doing it in chronological order from the very beginning. Uh, that's why, if you haven't noticed like a episode 12 recently that's because i've reacted to it a long time ago long before i started doing the show in chronological order i did reactions based on the title of the show and how interesting it was to me so i did reactions to like world cup and earth and society and things like that before i started doing the show based on when they were released or whatever so there's a lot of episodes that are kind of not in order, especially if you look at the playlist. The playlist of the shows, it'll go like episode, season one, and then when you get to season two, there'll be like a couple episodes, then it'll jump to like episode 12, then go back to episode five or something. Like it, it, it's not fixed right because I created the playlist before I finished this series, and there because there were episodes I reacted to that were way off from my most recent reaction at that time the playlist is kind of off but like I said I'll be reworking it so that you guys can um, watch everything based on the uh, list uh, the based on the schedule that they release their episodes not the schedule that I release my episodes on so be sure to be on the lookout for that now with that being said I'm Devon Da Vinci if you want to show this channel some uh, love and support, the best thing you can do is hit that like button. Um, I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. Maybe one day I will. I can probably do like maybe reactions to movies or something. And, you know, with that being said, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Uh, like, subscribe, share. So far is the best way to support the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys on a future video. I'm going to give you the deuces. I'm Devon DaVinci, and hopefully you've been a little more enlightened. Deuces.